fly has been a fascination of you know mankind for years. Pilots like Pat Trudell are modern legacies to the Wright brothers. Trudell says he doesn't doubt that others tried flying before. I don't think it's out of the question that um, that it happened earlier. The Dyer family in Blairsville, Georgia, is claiming just that. We all grew up hearing about our uh, ancestor who built uh, an airplane and flew it here. Turnage says Makaija Clark Dyer's flight was just a family legend until 2004. That's when they found a U.S. patent dating to September 1874 for Dyer's flying apparatus. Dyer's plane was different from the Wright brothers. It was more boat-like with a pointed prowl, a balloon instead of a gas engine, and pedaled powered wings that could be flapped to control the plane's direction. Turnage says Dyer could have flown off of railings off this side of this mountain and then into this field or a field nearby. Turnage says the family does not want to take away from what the Wright brothers did. Now, I really want it to be um, a, a historical fact that people recognize that there was an important invention that early. This recognition could benefit Blairsville. As more people hear about it, I think uh, Blairsville will become a little more known for you know, his accomplishments. The Union County Historical Society has an exhibit dedicated to Dyer's flying apparatus. They say Blairsville's isolation adds to the importance of Dyer's patent. The fact that he was experimenting with some sort of flying apparatus uh, during that period for this area is just quite an accomplishment. Turnage agrees. This area. And you see it's remote even today. So you can imagine if you could look back to 1874 what it would have been like here. Turnage says they just want Dyer to be remembered as part of aviation history. For WNEG, Mackenzie Patterson, Grady College.